What is going on, Linear Algebras? It's Mr. C here, and in this video, I'm going to introduce another metric regarding vectors from general real vector spaces, and that would be the angle between two vectors coming out of a real vector space. Um, and the angle I is going to uh, be defined using an inner product. Okay, so you can assume that we're in a real inner product space here, and we've actually seen how to measure the angle between two vectors in n space uh, based upon the dot product of two vectors. So um, why are we doing this again? Well, in this section we handle the case of when the vectors aren't necessarily from n space, although they could be, um, but rather, you know, just any uh, real inner product space. Now we'll get to uh, how we can calculate the angle between two vectors in just a moment. But I want to first touch on a very important ingredient uh, coming in the form of a theorem, uh, which is needed in order to establish this way of measuring angles between two vectors. And that ingredient is none other than what's called the Cauchy-Schwartz inequality. And it says that if u and v are two vectors in a real inner product space, then the absolute value, okay, so that's the absolute value of the inner product of the two vectors u and v, which do keep in mind that the inner product is a function designed to give you a real number, okay? So what we're saying is that the absolute value of this real number is always going to be less than or equal to the norm of the vector u times the norm of the vector v. Now just a quick little recall about norm. Remember when it's in a real inner product space and not necessarily n space, the norm of, say, a vector u is equal to the inner product of u with itself, okay, that number, but square rooted. Now, <coughs> do keep in mind that the uh, numbers involved in this inequality here are all going to be positive. <coughs> Excuse me. First of all, we're taking the absolute value of the inner product on the left, which is guaranteed to be positive or equal to zero in the case where the uh, vector u is zero, uh, zero vector or and or the vector v. Um, and of course we know that the norm of uh, a vector is going to always be greater than or equal to zero. So this would imply the, the following uh, about, um, you know, regarding this inequality. Uh, this would imply that the absolute value of the inner product of u with v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v is less than or equal to 1. Which further implies that the inner product of u with v divided by the product of the norms is less than or equal to 1 but greater than or equal to negative 1. So with this in mind, I'm now going to present you a way of calculating the angle between two vectors coming from a real inner product space. Let's start with cosine theta. Cosine theta, or the cosine of the angle, is going to equal the inner product of u with v divided by the product of each of their magnitudes. And this is very similar to what we've seen earlier in the course um, where the numerator would be the dot product. Okay? Well, since we're uh, working in a general vector space, uh, you know, the, the best we can assume is the inner product there. And so this formula right here would help you um, start to calculate the angle between the two vectors uh, u and v, um, but knowing that the fraction uh, inner product of u with v divided by the product of their magnitudes is between negative 1 and 1, this would allow us to take the cosine inverse of the right hand side of this equation to isolate theta. So theta is equal to cosine inverse of the inner product of u and v divided by the product 
of each of their norms. All right, so definitely uh, some facts here to keep in mind. Okay, uh, first of all, the Cauchy Schwartz inequality. Okay, this result allows us to ascertain that the uh, ratio of, of the absolute value of the inner product divided by the product of their magnitudes is less than or equal to one, which can be uh, rewritten in a compound inequality format, which I have in the uh, yellow box here. We also have this formula, cosine theta is equal to magnitude, I'm sorry, the uh, norm, the inner product of u and v divided by the product of each of their norms. And knowing that uh, the fraction is always going to be less, or, or between negative one and positive one, would allow us to take the cosine inverse in order to find the um, value of the angle theta itself. All right, so in the next video, I will show you how to work with uh, one of these formulas. Uh, in the meantime, if you have any questions about this one, feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, I will catch you in the next one.